Kim Gidley, thanks for taking the time. The tournaments continue. You went up to Denver and uh, not an easy place to play tennis, but you fared pretty well. Yeah, we had a lot of great matches. I mean, all three schools, Colorado State, Denver, and, you know, Colorado, um, you know, two of the three are nationally ranked consistently. And, you know, so it was some great opportunities. What did you like most, uh, maybe some players that you saw really coming into their own playing tennis? Well, you know, we still have the, the duo of Fitch and Odom that made the finals again. They beat Colorado's number one team, played really well there, really solid. Uh, the finals against Denver dug a hole quickly, down 4-1, fought back, got it back to 5-4, lost a 3-all point, you know, to bring it 5-all. But, you know, they'd been playing really consistent tennis from the start, like I said, but if you, you dig a hole. But the fight was there, and, and they're, you know, it's their third final in four tournaments, so you got to be excited and to have a Power 5 win again, you know, for, you know, two out of three weeks. That's awesome. Uh, Sydney had a great win against University of Colorado at number one singles, uh, one in a tiebreaker, 12-10. The match was awesome. Um, that's probably the best tennis I've seen her play to date in singles, and she had lost the first set, and she fought back. Um, the last day, she had a three-setter against uh, Denver, also won that. So, I mean, really great competition, but uh, the neat and exciting part was uh, Abby Katuna and Courtney Swift. They got to play together for the first time, um, and they beat a team that was 48 in the country last year. So, you know, and they were up 5-0 before they lost a game. So we really have the potential, but again, it's experience, experience, experience. Andrea Lee, she had to win a straight set win against Colorado. That was huge. Um, and then we also had Alexis Odom that had a straight set win against Colorado. So if we're having some power five wins and, and we're being consistent, and we're getting those opportunities. And we talked about we take two steps forward and a step back. And the first day was a little rough. And then the second day was awesome. And then the third day, you know, take that step. But I mean, that's how you grow as a team. And you got to take your bumps and you got to learn. And then you got to be excited and compete again. Yeah. Fall season close to over. There's one left, though, right? Exactly. Yeah, we're uh, going to the University of Hawaii. This is only the third time in program history to go for, for us since being Division One, so we don't get to have that opportunity that often. But uh, to get to play late this in the season, we're really – our program, we like to do that because, again, we play, we're play. we playing catch-up from the summer. We didn't play in the summer, so we want to play as late as we can in the fall, get as much competition as we can throughout the season, um, and finish strong. So we're going to be in some warm weather, and we're going to get to play some matches, so you got to be excited there. It's warm weather, but it's sea level. Uh, that will be a little bit different for your players, right? Well, hopefully they can run all day long. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be good. Kim Gidley, thanks for the time. Good luck this weekend. Go Falcons.